Okay, so I have my Simrad NSS7 Evo 2 out here. I'm going to connect the NMR 2K port with this cable, uh, which has this Yamaha connector at the end. Um, currently, I have uh, Yamaha CL7s, so I'm going to keep using that. But I'm going to connect my NMR 2K um, to this and add a second uh, Yamaha hub. So I'll give you the part numbers. Um, this is what the plugin looks like. This goes to the NMR 2K port. There's also an Ethernet which I wanted to connect up, but it uses an annoying connector from. Simrad, not a regular Ethernet port, so that's kind of annoying. Um, video input works well. It takes two standard, I use rear view cameras, so they work pretty well with um, these connections here. Um, so that's cool. Um, and I also get NMA 0183 from the uh, Standard Horizon Matrix GPS. I mean, AIS radio. Um, you can see it here. That's my standard horizon. And it paints targets pretty well as well. So, not, not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to connect it up. Let's see, it's a key connection, so you can't go wrong really. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to replace the I'm going to replace the Yamaha connector with one of these. A hub basically. Um, it's got a connector at the end, and that's what it looks like. That's the model number. And focus. Focus. I'm outside. Alright, so that's the number one thing. <sighs> Let's see if I can squeeze it in. Six pin plug out. Uh, this stupid thing is the hub. It's got four pins on one side. It's got six or two links on the other, which is pretty much makes this useless. So here I have connectivity across all the connections, all plugged in. Then the six pin out here. reading um, gauge you see the trim is still not working so you can see it's trimmed shows 124% that means the wires 
uh, to the trim are not uh, connected in the engine and this is quite common uh, yeah so something to fix and I'll show you how um, and this guy is also reading the same thing um, but you can see both cages are working so let's see let's flip it around to this one, this one. Yeah, so they're they're both reading as you can see. Um, <coughs> yeah, and uh, engine is off right now. So, but you can see it's all reading on the GPS as well. Um, other than trim, but we'll fix that soon. All right, so now that we have our thing hooked up, um, here's the motor. It's a Yamaha. Uh, manufacturing date is 2018. Um, flip the cover off with these handles, one and one at the back. Uh, the back one is that way. Uh, okay and now the front you'll see this thing which is a little clip move the clip to the front you can see the little clip and you can see this yellow tape this one here that's the two wires we're going to connect so first pull out all the cables from here so you just move them across and reach down pull in the yellow thing There you go, a little yellow thing. We're gonna attach this one to that one. So, fairly easy to do. Okay, so I basically cut the yellow tape off. That's this stuff here. Gotten rid of it completely. So now what I'm left with is these. You notice these are pink cables, pink. And what these do is allow the resistance to be sent instead of analog resistance for the trim they will allow resistance to be sent to um, NMEA 2K so my chart plotter and this thing can get it get these stupid connectors out get rid of these things you can use pliers or scissor okay so these are the stupid end connectors out scissor um, they take a while and then make sure this is also pink wire it is a pink wire flip it around and insert the battle connector so like this okay so first I remove the battle connector that gives me, so this part is discarded. And then shall be a, which is pink, into pink. Okay, so one more insert removed. And this should not be discarded. And then finally you have a good connection, so you can slide this one into this thing. And there you have it, pink to pink, there you go, pink, um, and now we need to tidy it up by shoving that back, get in there, and push this cable through as well, so it latches in, and then uh, I put my little C wedge, and my wedge back in the slot and then turn it so it won't fall off on the road and trim it down that's it 
trimmed down, locked in place. It's locked in place, it's trimmed down. It's all good. And that's about it. Um, and then obviously check your oh, this thing. Um, there's also something cool I have, which is this cheap old interrupter, so I can charge my boat on a schedule and also cut power to the G3500 NOCOs uh, when they decide to uh, mess up. Uh, anyway, we'll go into that later.